Now that everyone is inside the course, we can talk about how you're going to navigate the course. You're seeing the course from a professor's point of view. Your course will look slightly different. The biggest thing is that over here on the left-hand side, I have a lot of links. I call them tabs because um, in previous versions of Canvas, they used to look like little tabs, um, but now they're just links. You won't see all of them. Um, I have turned off all of the links except for the ones that you need to navigate the course. The tabs or the links on the left-hand side that you'll see include home, which gets you back to the home page, announcements, syllabus, grades, and chat. They are the only tabs that you will see, and you may or may not see that chat tab depending on who your teacher is, especially if you're taking this as an on-campus class. I want to make sure everyone is comfortable navigating the course, but I do not want to click through and do all of the first week activities with you because that would take us a couple of hours. And so the first thing that I want to note about the navigation structure of the course is that there are what I'm going to refer to as tabs and buttons. And so your navigation options are tabs on the left hand side or buttons that run horizontally across the top of the page. Most of them are duplicated because they're important and I want you to figure out the easiest way to get to the option that you want. The Announcements tab, I'm going to open that in a new window just so I don't lose my home base here. The Announcements tab has important announcements that your teacher is going to send you if he or she wants the entire class to have the message at the same time. There are a number of default announcements that we have typed up that you'll get as soon as the class is published at the beginning of the semester. They include things like, hey, do you want to participate in Skills USA? And here's a scholarship that not a lot of students apply for. Um, there's a little message that I typed up for my students that says, the course is open even though class doesn't start for another two weeks, but you're free to go in and click around and get started early if you want to. What's important about the Announcements tab is that the first thing you should do every time you log into the course is read any new announcements. I like to send out a weekly announcement. So if you're taking a class from Jessica, you will receive a weekly announcement either on Sunday night or on Monday morning that says, hey, it's week seven and this is what we're doing on week seven. I recommend breaking your coursework out as follows. Do this bit on Monday and Tuesday and this bit on Wednesday and Thursday. And if you do that, you're staying on pace with the rest of the course. I would like everyone to take a minute to read any announcements that are currently posted via the Announcements tab. And depending on when you're watching this video, it might just be the four default ones that will appear at the beginning of the semester. Um, if you're watching this maybe during the first week of the semester, there may be additional announcements. But what's important is that you should read all of them before moving on to the next video.